it's, it's ironic, we in the Department of Commerce have the International Trade Administration whose role is to help U.S. companies export and sell around the world. We have another bureau within the Department of Commerce called the Bureau of Industry Security whose sole job is to kind of limit what you export uh, because we need to make sure that we're not selling things uh, or exporting very highly sensitive national security items that could really fall into the hands of those that want to do the United States harm. So very sophisticated weaponry and uh, intelligence uh, equipment, uh, military equipment, uh, uh, highly sophisticated technology, we don't want to get into the wrong hands. Uh, I think uh, pen fishing tackles is okay though, all right? So, uh, uh, but, uh, so, but we need to modernize that. Uh, because in some cases we don't have enough protections over the things that really could do us harm. And in other cases we have high fences around those things that you could buy at Radio Shack or Home Depot or so many other companies around the world will sell and even advertise that they'll ship it to you overnight. So it doesn't make sense for us to not allow U.S. companies to sell things when everyone else in the world is already selling those things. So we need to modernize that list. Focus on the things that really can that we want to protect, that we don't want to get into the wrong hands to do us harm, and at the same time uh, be realistic and loosen the restrictions. So Secretary Gates of the Defense Department is helping lead that charge along with the Department of Commerce. Um, we have actually been very ready and, uh, to modernize our list, and we hope to actually have a comprehensive proposal and uh, start to narrowing down the list and then eliminate even the need for licenses for the things that are no longer on the list uh, so that you can actually export uh, without uh, a license. And we hope to have a lot of this finalized and announced uh, this coming summer.